Now let me actually render the scene by hitting render. And you see it's rendering two times, one for once for each eye. And when I'm viewing this now, I can still change the way it is displayed by setting set stereo 3D, like here, green magenta, or let me go back to red cyan. And I also have the option to not view this as stereo, but as the eyes individually. And for this, I now have a new option next to the passes, and that is left or right in this case. One for the left eye, one for the right eye. Pretty cool. Now let me turn on stereoscopic display again. And how can I actually save this? Well, for this, in output, there is now new options, that is fuse format. There is individual and stereo 3D. Let me start with stereo 3D because this is like the actual final save you can do. And if I, for example, select Arnold Luf, Red Cyan, and save, like image, save as image, stereo 3D, Arnold Luf. Then when I look at my image folder, I have an image here that has actually the red cyan version. And um, it has also color management applied, so it's not working perfectly, but this is like the final stereo 3D if you want to uh, like deliver your scene. Now, let me quickly delete this and show you two other options. And that is, you could also use a multi-layer open EXR, and there, if you select multi-view, then the different views are saved as two different images or passes inside your multi-layer EXR. And this is pretty cool. Or let me go back to PNG and show you the fuse format individual, because this is actually the best format for you to store your project so, so you can um, render it out in different versions later on, like for different devices. And this, what fuse format individual is doing is it's saving two images. So fuse format individual, and they have a suffix. So if I go back to the folder, now I have untitled underscore L and untitled underscore R. And they are actually the two images like I would expect them. And this is actually pretty cool because those I can still load in Blender. So if I go back and change this to a new image editor, like kicking the render result and selecting open, I can now open it here, untitled L and untitled R. I can simply select the L one and Blender will automatically detect the stereo 3D, but to view it, I have to select use multi-view. And now you see we're back to viewing things and we can still go to window set stereo 3D and change it like we want. And this is also working in the VSE. So let me switch over to the video editor and like I can also still add an image here and add image strip. And then I can select in the image strip to use multi-view it's here. So now even in the video editor, video sequence editor, I can view this as multi-view, which is also pretty cool. And so you really don't need to save it as um, the final output, but you can still use the two images and still view it in Blender just as you wish. And one last thing I'd like to show you is in the compositor, there is now a new node. And this one you can use if you are um, have two images for a uh, multi-view, you can have the view switch. And there, for example, you can enter the one for the left eye and the one for the right eye and the center view directly, just as you wish. Or if I change the layer settings here to simply to multi-view and remove the render view I've created. Then if I enter a switch new view node, it should be just two view switch. Yeah. So this is if you get um, images for the left eye out there and the right eye separately, then you can use this node to plug them in here and you will get the combined output for the Blender multi-view right out of the image node. So this is it for the stereoscopic workflow in Blender 2.75.